Welcome kings and queens, lords and ladies, knights and peasants, I guess. Welcome back everybody to some more King's Quest. In the last episode, as if by some majestic intervention, the dragon was spared his eyeball because I pressed the wrong button. I meant to shoot out his eye, but I pressed the wrong button and saved his life. But in the process, our friend Achaka died. But there's little time for mourning. We're about to begin the duel phase of the tournament. Let's talk to this guy and see what it's all about. Speak. Where exactly is the duel of strength? The duel of strength will take place on Daventry's own fantastical, wondrous floating island. Head north, then east. You can't miss it. Okay. What about the speed? What do I need for the duel of speed? Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theater when you're ready for the duel of speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? All right, let's get going. Let's take a look at the tournament board. Which did you tackle first? So duel we got speed or the duel of strength? Speed and strength here. Which one do we want? I don't know. It looks like this picture of whispers falling out. Guess I'll pick that up. All right. So actually, I think I'm gonna head back up that big hill up here. There's the, um, there was that tree that I couldn't shoot previously, but now that I learned some archery skills from Achaka, I might be able to get it. Let's go see what's up there. Alright, let's try this again. This time I should be able to shoot. I'm not gonna shoot that unicorn, don't worry guys. This is a pet friendly video. Perfect. Let's make our way across like a ninja. I'd always been a straight shooter, but Ashaka opened my eyes. Alright, that one wasn't that bad. Well, thank you. So many puns, guys, it's crazy. Alright, I wonder what's over here on this side. Kind of curious to see. Nothing too exciting so far. There's this narrow path. What the hell is that? Hmm. I don't see anything, but I feel like I should. Alright, there is definitely something above me. Again, I don't see anything. Hopefully I don't get killed or anything like that. Oh man, there's... It's like a goblin. And if I stop moving, they stop. Look at that. Look at that guy in freeze frame. So I have to move forward towards the wagon here. I feel like I'm about to get ambushed though. Ah, these guys are mean! Oh! Run, dude. I'm gonna get eaten by goblins. That'll be the worst way to go. All those goblins. With swiftness or patience, you'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go with the speed here. I don't want to wait and die. No survivors, man. If you're down on the ground, you're getting a second arrow. Like this guy. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, there's that guy up there. Almost snuck up on me. Alright. This guy's wounded. Now he's dead. That guy's like picking up a rock. There we go. Nice. I guess that's what he meant by patience. There's our merchant. There we go. Right in time. I wanted him to stop talking first. Boy, that is your name, right? Boy, thank the shining stars. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Now, I'm not a native goblin tongue, but I'm pretty sure I made out the words unicorns and majestic museum. Mr. Fancy Cakes is too barbarous for a caged life. Listen, I want to sincerely apologize for my pilfery sausages, and thank you for saving me. So this guy sold me that phony ticket, but I think King Graham would forgive him, so let's go with that. I have been through too much already today. 
I forgive you. And I just want to say... Uh, yeah, 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 that's sweet boy, real nice of you. And since we are all square, I have a favor to ask of you. Can you deliver this rare and miraculous ingredient to that amateur magic shop in town? It's a snoozing leaf. Be careful transporting it, though. Once Mr. Fancy Cakes ate one of these snoozing leaves and was knocked out cold for days. And as a token of my appreciation, here is your money back. There you go. I'd give you more, but those hoarding goblins looted my cart. Well, gotta run. Good thing these shorts breathe so well. Thanks again, boy. I won't forget this. Sudanararia. So you know what's kind of hilarious? Ha, the merchant immediately forgot that. My girlfriend was watching a previous episode that I recorded, and she said that I remind her of the Merchant of Miracles, and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I should be offended, I don't know. Looks like I got some money back though, so I might go back into town and buy that pie since I have the ingredients. I've collected them in the previous episodes. I don't know what I'm going to do with a pie, but I don't know, I feel like I should spend this money. So let's do it, let's go back across. See what's waiting for me in Daventry. Look at that unicorn just eating some flowers. No big deal. I don't know how he got up there. I guess goats are exceptional mountaineers. There's still that cave up there that I can't go through because it's like way too dark. Might have to buy that blue candle. Should I buy the candle first or the um or the pie? I don't know. I think I want to buy the pie. I've gotten pretty familiar with the landscape here. I know where I'm going for the most part pretty much. Okay. So I can give that feather to the potion shop here, or I can, you know what, I'm gonna buy a pie. It's probably because it's lunchtime and I'm a little hungry, haven't had anything to eat. Graham, a little squirrel told me the news. I am deeply sorry you lost a friend. This horrible tournament spawns a vicious cycle of violence every year. When will Daventry recognize that slaying ferocious beasts Shows no heart. But hearts can change. And I can take comfort in the fact that you backed down from the violence. Perhaps you didn't even know what you were getting into. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do in your time of need. Perhaps Grandma's sugar shroom pie can ease the pain a little. Speaking of mercilessly killing beasts and all that... It's funny that I'm recording this today because all over the news is that dentist that shot that lion in Africa. But anyways, let me talk to this guy. Yes, lad. Do you have any advice for an aspiring knight? Think with your heart and not with your brain or your biceps. That's the knight I want to see in King Edward's royal court. All right. Good day. Have a crap day. Let me give him those ingredients that I got earlier. Wow. These sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. All right, and let's give him the starberries. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. And one gold coin? It's the last of my money that I got back from uh, the merchant. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two. Oh my Three. god, look at this thing. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. You can swim in that pie. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this giant pie, but we're gonna have to find something. I'm gonna try to explore some areas I haven't been to yet. I don't know. 
Uh, let me go back to the tournament board. It seems to be like the central area, and then I can pick my direction from there. Let's go south. I haven't been south very often. Might be something here. Alright, and what's this way? To the east. It's a bridge. Alright, let's go across. Oh man, what's going on? Wow, it's crumbling. What? Need to get up there quick. Oh, I can't climb anymore. What's going on? Oh, it's a giant troll. I like his tooth. Damn, man. Is it gonna eat me? Told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs. Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. Oh, I guess I can give him that giant pie. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? A yes, goose? I'm quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Hmm. I'm gonna ask about these horns, because I've been curious. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfie was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Oh, that's disgusting. But that kind of explains all the missing bridges now, so I'm glad we solved that part of the mystery. Is there any way you could let me cross? Hmm, I'm not supposed to do this, but Ulfie needs to pick me up. If you bring Ulfie back a snack to satisfy his sweet tooth, Ulfie might consider letting little Goosey pass. Alright, I guess that's what the pie is for then. Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the Bridges, have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not! As Pilar says, for shame, Daventry! We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Pernolfi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. Hmm. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ulfie is starving. I think this is pretty cool that these trolls are actually bridges, because a lot of uh, fairy tales involve trolls um, protecting bridges. And in fact, in the first King's Quest game, there is a troll that blocks your way across all of the bridges as well. So let me give this guy the pie and see what happens. It's a giant freaking pie, man. Fit for a giant troll. Dude, that was like bite size for him. I like his tooth moving up and down. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, I'll allow you to cross. Though a quick footed peacock already got to that snarling snarlax. Oh, I almost forgot. Goosey, for your act of kindness, Ulfie would like you to have this. Is that the mouse piece? Whatever you need me. Just give it a blow. Oh, that's disgusting. He said he kept it under his butt. Now he expects me to blow on it? Lively. Ulfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's oh, that's gross. Alright, looks like there's a forest up here. Let me go up here. Ah, oh, that's so gross with the mouthpiece, guys. Almost tempted never to use it. Alright, looks like it's too dark. Too many wolves there. I don't think I can go there for now. Let me go see what's over here to the east. Keep disappearing to 
There's a coin here. Hey, my coin! Cool, so maybe I can buy that blue lantern now too. I'm getting tired of opening that door for him. Is that the troll meeting? He better come soon. I can't get down though. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way across. I needed to get closer to hear what was going on. Gonna have to find a way down there somehow. Oh, I'm gonna have to blow on this, aren't I? Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, let's... Where's that mouthpiece? That is so gross. Don't do it, Graham! Don't do it! Oh, that's disgusting. It's like a bad prank. Make it quick. Alfie needs to head back into his meeting. Okay. So I think I'm gonna head over to the Duel of Strength, because it said it was in the Floating Island, and I remember there was a horn preventing me from actually getting to the Floating Island, so now maybe I can get there. So let's try that out. Go do the first of two duels. I still need to find a way to move this boulder. I don't know, maybe an item I get later on will allow me to do that. Alright, and off to the floating island we go. There's that picnic area, but I don't want to go there. Alright, here we are. Looks like there's acorn up there. Interesting. Alright, let's make this bridge and go on across. Don't worry, man, I got it. I don't know how I'm gonna beat him in strength, but I guess we'll find out momentarily. Alright, let's go. Is here to help. Maybe Ophi can help me. I like Ophi, he's pretty funny. Alright, let's talk to Acorn here. Alright, I am ready. Hello there. Probably. Are you ready to begin? What exactly are the rules? The rules are simple, for a change. If you can stay dry, you win. So I guess it's some sort of, of sumo match where you gotta push the opponent outside the ring. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Let the duel of strength commence. I'm gonna have to outsmart him. I'm obviously not as strong. I'm glad we can settle this like gentlemen. Oh. I can't move. All I can do is press A. And that is not working. No! Oh, that sucks. Did I lose? What is that behind him? Oh, okay. So it looks like I got saved by Manny. And there's a horn here. Maybe I need to blow on that and Ophi will help me. Let's try that out. Oh, that sounds weird. I wasn't going to toot that horn anymore until I found the missing piece. Oh, so it's a different piece. So I think I need to break into that troll guild meeting and get another mouthpiece or something. I don't know. Either way, I can't do anything here. It looks like. You should find a way to get all the horns. Okay, so I need to go to that troll meeting somehow. But you know what? Now that I have another coin, I think I'm gonna buy that blue lantern from the curiosity shop. And see what happens with that. So I can go through some of those dark woods. I think that's the best idea right now. So let's head back to town. And make some more purchases. I also have to give those people the feather from the merchant. They should be expecting it. Maybe I'll get something from that as well. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go talk to these people. I love this little town, it's so cozy. Oh, joy! Graham the Brave is here! Ah, the little boy who wants to do big things. 
Congratulations on making it to the next round of the tournament. Our crystal ball told us about the eye you presented. Wasn't the cleverest way of going about things, was it? You seem like such a nice boy. Hopefully you'll use your noggin a bit more in the future. Oh, we don't need any more brash knights in Daventry. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Business is business. Now, Chester, can you hand me the frog's breath elixir? Frog's breath elixir? Yes, uh, where is that? <laughs> uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Muriel, my blood sugar was low. <laughs> <laughs> Old it's people. Just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me, and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, no more free dips. So these people are always missing something. Now they want a freaking frog. Let me talk to them. Yeah everything you were looking for let me ask for some advice do you have any advice for a knight hopeful of course we do we're old and opinionated think through all the options before making a move outsmart your opponents with a quick wit and never pass up the opportunity for a good prank oh that's just as advice <laughs> not mine a good prank like the Troll pulled on me by putting his mouthpiece in his butt. Fare thee well. May your shoes point you towards adventure and click whatever danger is near. Alright, so let me give him that feather from the merchant. Our order is finally here. Well, part of it anyway. Chester, remind me to leave a poor review for that merchant on the town board. Ah, this should do the trick. Hmm. It's close, but it still needs that frog's breath. Well, I'm glad I could help further it along. Yes, and as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you this, this, um, this? This vial of hypnotic powder. Oh, it's expired. It can work. It was just never finished. Let me guess. It's missing lollipop root or baby's tears. I can bring you a tuft of Mr. Fancy Cakes for... Nope. It just needs raisins. Yeah. Thanks, I guess. Alright, so I got a hypnotic potion. Looks like there's only one ingredient left for the potion here, which is frog's breath. I'll worry about that later. Let me get that blue candle, though. Deary? Where are my dried reptile skins? Well, uh, now, give us one shiny gold coin, and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours. Okay. So let's do it. One coin? Make a nice little jack-o'-lantern here. Here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame candle. Perfect. So I guess let's get out of here. Let's go explore some of those dark woods that we previously could not access. In fact, I think I'm going to go to the one right above where I met Olfi. Because I'm trying to break into that troll meeting somehow. So let me try it out. Curious to see what I'm going to find in those woods. There's also that cave at the very top of the hill that I can probably explore now too. Let me go this way first. So gross. meeting and Ophi hates doing the secret knock okay so there's a secret knock to get into the meeting probably have to learn that i don't know maybe this will give me a shortcut into there or something so let's explore up here all right let's use that candle perfect all the wolves went away and i can make my way across here I'm trying to keep my eye out on anything Suspicious, like this. There's a ray of light into this note. Oh, it's a work order for that uh, chopper thing from the blacksmith. What the hell is that? Is that like a spider? 
yeast. Ah, oh, I was fine viewing that snarly snarlax with the six legs, three claws, and one tooth from this distance. Gross. Damn, that is gross. All right, let me go this way. Continue making my way across. All right, I see the light here at the end. Putting my pumpkin away. Oh man, it's another one of these horns that I can't blow yet with a missing bridge. So I guess there's nothing I can do here. I don't really know where to go now. Oh, there's a, there's a path down here, so maybe. Okay. Looks like I might be going around here to the meeting. If I could find a fast way down there, I would be able to hear the password. Where do you keep? Okay, perfect. Ophi has very important business to attend to. Have the croissants arrived yet? I already told you. I forgot the croissant, okay? Can we please move on from the croissant? Right, let me listen to them. Maybe I'll learn something. You think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon? Orphy, you're so easily tricked into sitting down. You should stand up for our rights. Well, easy. But Alfie likes sitting down. Helps relieve pressure off my back. Nice. Hello, I'm on your side, but I need you to work with me. We need to build our bridges and get over this. What's a compromise we can all live with? Oh, there is no compromise. Those tiny ingrates go around stomping on the shoulders of giants with no thought as to who is underneath them. They climb the ladder of success and forgot who got them across their troubled waters. What's in it for us? We will show them all what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. This seems to be going nowhere. I don't know. I wouldn't go so far as to say they don't appreciate us, but by golly, I wouldn't go so far as to say they do either. Bridges don't grow on trees. They grow on us. If Daventry wants us to go back to work, those guards need to stop breaking our back. All right, let me try to get around here. I can agree with. The guards with pointy shoes hurt Ovi's back. So, all of us. Huh. So the meeting's still going on? Next item up for discussion should we lift our embargo on the consumption of goat? They're basically talking about nothing. Maybe I can sneak under here. I don't know. Kind of worried. Some bells here. <laughs> Pilar, everyone knows there are no more goats in Daventry. Only majestic human. Oh my god, Ulfie's so stupid, guy. Ulfie. He's like the big buffoon. No That's what he had. I've seen him. What's this big hole here? What's he this doing here? Fast one on you. You it's a ladder. Well, so am I supposed to climb over? Majestic unicorns? Uh, I think. If everyone jumped off a... Shortcut. And think for Brilliant. Now right, let me climb up here. Oh, so we're here. So I think what we can do is... Um, let me see. Let me come over here. Oh, okay. So I see what's going on. So with that ladder, I think I can call Ophi over here and then quickly use that ladder to get down there. Wait for him at the gate and hear the secret password. So we're going to do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it, join the monastery, and hit the subscribe button for me. And we are going to break into a troll meeting next time, so see you guys then.